Hey, grade nines. Uh, so in today's lesson, we're just going to go over um, how to determine the equation of a line. Um, and most of the handle is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm actually going to uh, let you just review it yourself. Um, you're going to notice that the first couple points here, um, so talking about what, how to find the slope and y-intercept if you're given an equation, table values, and a graph, um, is all review from before. Um, so obviously an equation, you can easily tell what the slope and y-intercept is by looking at the m and b coefficients. Um, and the table values, it's quite easy. Slope is the first difference. The y-intercept is um, the corresponding um, y value when x is equal to zero. So we've looked at that already. And of course, on a graph, you can calculate rise or run. Now keep in mind for the table values and the graph, you just have to be careful to make sure that the <clears throat> x-coordinates are increasing by one as well. Um, so I'm just going to skip over to the new stuff. Um, you might recall that um, <clears throat> we did discuss uh, a way that we could solve, uh, determine the equation if we're given only two points. Uh, we can easily find the slope, and we know exactly how to find the slope between any two points. Um, so what we do is we label our first point uh, x1, y1, and we label our second point x2, y2. And then we talked about this already, that you want to be consistent with this. Uh, you could take the first, court, first y coordinate minus the second y coordinate, but if I decide to do that, then I have to be consistent and take the, um, the first x coordinate and subtract off the second x coordinate, right? So I have to go in the same direction. But generally speaking, um, I'm not sure if this is just a protocol or this is just the way I've been doing it. Um, I always like to go um, the second coordinate here minus this first y coordinate there. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the x coordinate. So I'm going to take x1, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, and I think I've already mentioned this to you guys before, um, that there uh, is an alternative way to do this. If you don't, sometimes, uh, you know, it's better not to rely fully on a formula. Um, you could also just remember um, the general, <coughs> oops, and I'm totally doing this wrong. Uh, the general steps of when setting up your, um, when solving for the slope, right? So what you can do is you can label your, uh, your point. So we label it as x1, y1, x2, y2. Um, and what we can do is we can simply uh, subtract off the y, oops, and that's not doing it. Uh, we can simply subtract off our y uh, coordinates. So we just find the difference between the y coordinates here. Uh, and then we subtract off the, then we just, we're just going to subtract off the difference in the x. And then what we do is we simply take our difference in the y and we divide by our difference in the x, right? Um, it's the same idea there. Um, so how do you find the how do you find this uh, the y-intercept if you're only given slope? Well, sorry, if you're only given two points. Well, this is where we have to do a little bit more work. So what we're going to do is our first step is actually a repeat of what we did over here. Um, so I'm actually going to show you the how to solve this with an example, so it's much more clear. Um, so first step is let's find the slope. So to find the slope, we take 19 minus 4. Um, and I could label x1, y1, x2, y2, but I'll just start subtracting it off here. So I take 19 minus 4, and then I divide by 5 minus 2. And again, we do the numerator first and then the denominator. So let's figure out what 19 minus 4 is. That's 15, and divide by 15 minus 2, which is 3. And so that ends up giving us a slope of 5. So my slope right now is 5. Okay, so my next step underneath, I'm now, um, now that I know what the slope is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my equation and I'm going to replace my m value, my m coefficient here, with uh, 5 because we already calculated what the slope was. So because that is the slope, I'm going to substitute it into m and then I am going to write, uh, I'm just going to fill in the, the rest of the equation there. So we have uh, 3x, oh, and that's not 3x, so I apologize for that. Uh, it's going to be 5x. Let me switch it back. Okay. Y is equal to 5, and then switch colors. Uh, X plus B. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take one of the two points, and it doesn't matter which of the two points we have. Uh, we're going to take one of the two points, and we're going to sub it into this equation. And the reason you're doing this is because we know that this line has those two points. We were told from the beginning that this uh, this line contains these two points. So if a point is on the line, you might recall this from uh, way back in, in unit uh, three, we talked about this, that if a point is on the line, then it will satisfy the equation. That means that if we were to sub it into the equation of the line, the left side would equal the right side. So that means that if I sub in either one of these points, 
it should make the left side of the equation equal the right side of the equation. So if that's true, um, then I just pick one of the two points and I'm going to sub it in. Uh, I'm going to substitute, let's just, uh, I'm going to pick uh, two and four just because it's a slightly easier, uh, num uh, sli like slightly easier pair of numbers to work with. So what I'm going to do is I am going to sub in uh, two into x and four into y, right? Because that's my x coordinate, that's my y coordinate. So going back to this question here, I am going to take uh, my my four value and I'm going to sub it into y and then I'm going to write five times two plus b um, and then I am my next step over here is I'm simply going to um, carry out the steps here to solve for b so I'm going to use some basic algebra for this so I will have to use algebra but luckily the algebra that we use is actually quite simple uh, so what I do next here is I try to solve this equation this above here is just an equation so now I have four is equal to five times two which we know we can just easily solve right five times two is ten and then we have uh, four is equal to ten plus b well, now I can easily solve this. Uh, I can solve this using some basic algebra. So I know my next step here is to subtract off the 10 on both sides. So I take away 10 on both sides like this. Um, and then by doing that, I actually eliminate the 10 on the right-hand side and I move it to the other side. Now I'm left with uh, negative six. Negative six is equal to B, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, so just keep in mind and just kind of warn you because some of the questions obviously do get a little tougher. Um, the only difference between what we're doing now and what, we're, what you'll do in some of the questions is that every now and then you'll end up with fractions as slopes or you have x and y coordinates that are fractions. So you obviously have to deal with, uh, you know, uh, solving equations that involve fractions, but you should hopefully be familiar with that. And our very last step here, um, all we're going to do is we're going to sub in our, our y-intercept into, back into the equation as well as a slope. So we have y is equal to mx plus b. Um, we know exactly what the slope is. We were told already, well, we weren't told. Uh, we saw that the, we saw for the slope, we saw that it was uh, five. And of course the y-intercept is negative six. So we're just gonna write five x minus six. And we are done the question. So I hope that made sense. Um, and again, this is really all, all you have to do to solve for, to determine the equation of a line if you're given two points. Um, so I think that was the last part that we had missed on purpose. And again, the reason I said skip this because we hadn't talked about uh, solving equations. But now, you know, you're a pro at solving equations. I think you guys have been doing great with that. Um, so that's exactly what we do there. And that's the whole lesson. So it's pretty short and easy. Uh, again, the homework underneath is right there. Please make sure you do all the questions there, especially the ones that are uh, with asterisks. So question 13, really important there. Okay. Uh, good luck.